sounds like a real kiddie game, but this is Indiana Jones. And I'm also well aware that Indiana Jones has had a history of pretty crappy games on the NES. It had a pretty decent one on the Super NES, but this is Xbox 360. I mean, how long could you go with this? Now, I'm well aware most of the idea and the theme and all the basic elements of the game are pretty kiddie-ish, but it's Indiana Jones. Keep in mind, it's not supposed to be taken 100% seriously. I'm sure the creators of this game are very aware, and myself included. I'm well aware that I'm playing a LEGO game, but when I first started playing this game, I kind of lost track that it was a LEGO game, and I found it to be more of an Indiana Jones game. Yeah, because it follows the movie. Yeah, all three movies. Isn't that awesome? It's all three movies put into one, just like the Super Nintendo game. Remember Indiana Jones' Greatest Adventure? I'm all aware that that's available on the Virtual Console, but I'm not going to get into that too much. And I'm definitely not going to talk about the crappy NES versions like Temple of Doom and Last Crusade. Ugh, makes me sick just thinking about that. But yeah, it's Indiana Jones Lego style. Everything is all made of Legos. And what can I say? It looks kiddie-ish, it looks juvenile, but it's hilarious. That's all that matters. It brings out the best in what a comedy game can really do based off a movie. I don't really find it more of a comedy spoof, I find it to be actually like the movie. If you really get what I'm saying, you'll really actually enjoy this game. I mean, you gotta kinda forget that it's Legos and everything, and just remember it follows the movie. That's what I'm talking about, that's what I'm asking for. And, to say the least, it actually was worth it. I mean, the fact that it came with my Xbox 360 for free. This game, but what else? Kung Fu Panda. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Microsoft. You couldn't just include Lego Batman? Cheap bastards. But yeah, Lego Indiana Jones is one to actually play. If it comes with your Xbox 360 for free, I'd say it's worth checking out. Why? Well, look at all this. I mean, it's all the scenes from the movie that your diehard Indiana Jones fans can remember. I mean, the Rolling Rock scene from The Raiders of the Lost Ark, the bridge scene from Temple of Doom. It may not be pixelated perfectly, it may not follow the movie 100%, but come on, it comes as close as possible. And unlike Indiana Jones' Greatest Adventures, I mean, don't get me wrong, it follows the movie in a pretty decent manner, but the music is just looped over and over again, and it just annoys the living hell out of me. Now it's not bad music, but it wouldn't hurt to use different music that actually sounds more like the movie. More like John Williams, right? One of the greatest musicians of Steven Spielberg and Robert Zemeckis films. I mean, come on, how much more can you really ask for? Every scene has that music, and it sounds awesome. I mean, just listen to that. It sounds just like the freaking movie! And this is exactly aimed toward Indiana Jones fans. It's just, it's overlooked too many times. I really think this game is just overlooked. So, even though it looks stupid and looks kiddie-ish, just the die is hilarious. And of course, just like any other Indiana Jones games, it's kind of different the fact that you can't die and you get game over. You get unlimited continues. Kind of reminds me of Ninja Turtles, the arcade game. But yeah, you get all the scenes from the movie. You can play as various characters. Each one has their own different ability. Indiana Jones has the whip all the way through the game. I mean, that's awesome. What's really most hilarious is that at Indiana Jones The Last Crusade, when Sean Connery gets shot by Donovan, remember at the end? He actually breaks off in two pieces. <laughs> yeah. And when you die, of course, you break off in a million Lego pieces. Ah, oh, I'm dead. <laughs> but seriously, if I was to actually punch something, or if I ran into like a, a fern or a spike, but that mean me or whatever object I'm punching would actually break off into a million Lego pieces? So, like, if I punch, say, this Wii Remote, would that mean it would break off into a million Lego pieces? I'd like to try it and see. spawn as many times as you want. Duh. Makes sense. Even the talking parts are just hysterical, the way he talks. I mean, look at him. Makes me laugh. It looks stupid, but I can see that they're very self-aware of what they're making. It's a humorous, and it takes on the movie so well, and it's really, like, what more can you really ask for? It's a good game. A little bit extended on the scenes from the movie, but you know what? It gets the job done, and you couldn't ask for anything better. So, pretty much, what can I say? 
Rockin' two ear remotes up. Just a plain two ear remotes up. I'm not gonna go totally crazy. So, till next time. Happy gaming, and oh, I gotta return my hat in exchange for the Yankee hat, cause it's still baseball season. So, so, gotta return my. Hat. Well, thank God for the respawn. Happy game.